Welcome back children once again. This is Ansu here. This time we'll be seeing the second part of chapter 7. More on pivot animator. Today we'll be discussing the following contents. They are SDK files, using onion skills, performing multi-figure selection, joining figures and adding sprites. SDK files. The stick figure animator or STK format is the native file format for figure types in Pivot Animator. If you want to save a figure in Pivot Animator, then you have to save it in the STK format or the stick figure animator format. The figures created using Pivot Animator are stored as STK files with the .stk file extension. You have to understand the extension for the file name is .stk. Each STK file contains 2D stick figure models. Any figures that you save in the .stk extension will be two-dimensional. Creating an STK file. While working in the stick figure builder, each new figure type can be saved as an STK file. When you are using the stick figure builder option in Pivot Animator, you can save any figure that you create as an STK file. To create an STK file. Click file and click create figure type. The stick figure builder window appears. When you click on create figure type in the file menu, you get the stick figure builder window. Create the desired figure type. Click file and click save as. The save as dialog box appears. The dialog box is shown in figure 7.26. Enter the desired file name and click save. It gets smarter. A shortcut is given for you. To save changes in an STK file, click File and click Save. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl key plus S. You need to press these keys together to get the same effect as you are doing in the File and Save. To open an STK file, in Pivot Animator window, click the File menu. The File menu expands. Click Load Figure Type. The Open dialog box appears. Once you have created an STK file and saved it, in your system you can use it n number of times to do that you need to go to the file menu and click load figure type option the open dialog box appears load figure type option is shown in figure 7.27 and in 7.28 they are showing the open dialog box select the required stk file the preview of the selected file appears on the right side. When you click on any one of the STK files that you have already created, the preview of the uh, image will be seen on the right side. You can see a glimpse of the file on the right side. That is shown in figure 7.29. Once you have done it, you can click open. The selected figure type is added in the animation. Next is using onion skins. Onion skins show the relative positions of different figures from previous or subsequent frames when you edit a stick figure in the frame area. It shows the positions of the different figures from the previous or subsequent frames. That is how the figure looked like in the previous frame uh, will be shown as a shadow for you and this shadow is called the onion skin. One or more translucent figures are displayed on top of each other so that you can trace the movement of the figure. When you use this feature, you can make the animation a little more clearer. The motion will be a little more clearer because you can see the previous two or two to three steps of the image. So you can have one or more translucent figures to show the different relative position movement of the figure. In figure 7.30, onion skin is shown. The previous movement of the figure is shown with the help of the shadow or the translucent figure. This helps us to decide the right figure movement. There are two types of onion skins primarily displayed in the frame area. There are two types of onion skins. They are background onion skin. Background onion skins show all the figures from the previous frame. The onion skins appear behind the figures in the current frame. If you want to show all the onion skin figures from the previous frame, then this is the option that you need to use. Selected figure onion skin. Selected figure onion skins are displayed just behind the selected figure. If you want only a particular character's onion skin, then you have to go for selected figure onion skin. Multiple onion skins 
show up from the previous frames because their transparency increases as they get closer to the selected figure. The transparency increases as they get closer to the selected figure. Setting the number of onion skins for a figure. Pivot Animator 4 allows you to change the number of onion skins for a figure in the frame editor. By default, the number is maintained at zero to avoid lag in the animation. However, the number can be increased in the range zero to nine. You can have a maximum of nine onion skins. The value is always set as zero in default case. To set the number of onion skins, in the pivot animator window, click the edit menu. You have to go to the edit menu and click on it. The edit menu expands, click options, the options dialog box appears. The edit options are shown in figure 7.31. When you click on options in the edit menu, you get the options dialog box that is shown in figure 7.32, where you can adjust the width and height of the animation and the number of onion skins. Then you have the onion skin section in figure 7.33. Under the onion skin section, select or enter the required value in the spin box. For example, select the value as 2. Onion skins from the two previous frames appear in the frame area. When you set the value as 2, the onion skins from the previous two frames will appear in the frame window. Select the show ahead checkbox to display the onion skins of the next frames and click OK. The onion skins from the previous two and the next frames appear in the frame area. That is shown in figure 7.34. Can you see two shadows? One is a little more brighter. The one previous to it is becoming duller. As the number of onion skins increases, the picture becomes more transparent. Figure 7.35 shows show ahead checkbox. Show ahead checkbox means it shows the next two animations that happens after this current frame. It shows the movement of the figure in the next two frames. Performing multi-figure selection. You can select multiple figures at the same time in the frame editing area. In Pivot Animator 4, the multi-figure selection option allows you to apply the same action to multiple figures at the same time. You can have multiple figures in an animation at the same time and they can do the same movements together. For that, we use the multi-figure selection option. In Pivot Animator, the frame area displays multiple figures which may be created or loaded from other sources. You can have same or different figures loaded from different sources and place them in the frame area. The origin handle appears in orange color and the segment handles appear in red color. The origin point will always be in orange color and the segment handles always appears in red color. Create or load the required figure types. You have to create or load the figure types that you want into your frame area. Multiple figures in the frame area is shown in figure 7.36. Hold down the shift key and click any handle of the figure to select it. Repeat for all figures. Get smarter. You can also click and drag to draw a rectangle around the desired figures to select them. If you click and drag a rectangle around the whole figures, it, the whole thing will be selected. To select all figures available in the frame area, click edit and click select all figures. If you want to do it at one go, then you have to go for the select all figures option. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl key plus A to select all the figures together in your frame area. To deselect multiple figures, hold down the shift key and click any handle of one figure. Repeat till you have deselected all the figures. You need to hold the shift key and click on handle of one figure. Repeat on all the required figures and deselecting figures is shown in figure 7.37. Here they are clicking on this part. To move the selected figures, Click and drag any orange handle and press the arrow keys. The easiest way to drag a figure from one position to another is just click and drag any orange handle and press the arrow keys. To rotate and scale the selected figures, hold down the Alt key and click and drag any red handle. If you want to rotate or scale the selected figures, you need to hold the 
Alt button in your keyboard and click and drag the red handle that you want. Joining figures. In Pivot Animator 4, you can join two or more figures to create a single figure. Joining figures allows you to move multiple figures at once. You can also join two figures to relate them or show a single figure with differently colored segments. You can join multiple figures together to form a separate figure and it allows you to do that in your animator 4. You can also join figures to relate them and show a single figure with different colored segments. You can also make different colored segments with a single figure. By joining figures, you can create an interconnected structure of multiple figures without forming a loop. You can make a connection between a lot of structures without forming a loop in the case of Pivot Animator 4. To join figures, in the frame area, select the figure. In figure controls, click join or unjoin figure to another. There is an option like this icon here. The color of the handle changes to white. Click the figure you want to join with the selected figure. The figures are joined and both share a common origin handle. Can you see a white spot in the second figure? In the first one, you have a cycle and a man separately and you want to join the man to the cycle. When you join it together with the join or unjoined figure, icon you can see a white dot in the middle of the man that is the point which joins the man to the cycle to separate the figures select the joint figures from the figure controls click the join or unjoined figure to another icon the color of the common white origin handle changes to orange to separate the figures click the origin handle and drag the figure away once it is joined the icon changes to two dots in the middle in orange color that is shown in the figure here and when you click on it you can easily separate the figures you just need to drag the origin handle of one figure and move it to another place that is shown in figure 7.40 next is adding sprites in pivot animator 4 you can use a sprite image which is basically a collection of multiple images here each image acts as a part of a single larger image. You can use a sprite image which is a, basically a collection of other images also in Pivot Animator 4. It acts as a part of a single larger image. Instead of using multiple separate images, you can use sprite images to reduce the storage space. Instead of using so many different images in your Pivot Animation, you can reduce the size with the help of sprite images and the storage space is also less in this case. This is because a part of an archived image is used as a sprite rather than retrieving a single image every time. The thing is already archived in your Pivot Animator 4 and you are just retrieving a single image every time. You are just taking the same image every time. Adding sprites. In Pivot Animator 4, a sprite image can be used as a figure segment. Sprite images can be moved around, scaled or rotated to create an animation. These images can be moved around, it can move it from one place to another. You can increase the size, scaling means increase the size of the image and you can also rotate it to create an animation. The load sprite image option is shown in figure 7.41. How to do it? Select the required frame, click file and click load sprite image. The open dialog box appears. Select the required image and click open. Just like you open any other images, this process is same. Here you need to click on the load sprite image option that is given in the previous slide and then press open. The open dialog box is shown in 7.42. The sprite image appears in the frame area. In 7.43, the selected sprite images show. Large sprite images can slow the animation in your GIF. If you use large sprite images, it will slow down your GIF animation. Joining sprites. After creating a sprite image, you can load it in the frame editing area. Multiple sprite images can be connected to each other to create a complex structure. Like before, you can load more sprite images into your editing area. And to make it into a complex structure, you can join these images together too. 
to join sprites add the desired sprites in the frame area the first step is you need to add all the desired sprites in the frame area 7.44 shows the selected sprite image from the figure controls click the edit figure type icon the stick figure builder window appears add new lines to the new joints or handles as required you can add new lines to the new joints or handles as you require the stick figure builder window is shown in figure 7.45 and adding new lines is shown in 7.46 select these lines to zero thickness you have to make the line thickness to zero select a segment and click the static or dynamic segment icon you need to click on the static or dynamic segment the selected segment becomes static Repeat step 4 for all segments except one. The available segments are now connected. You do that for all the segments except for one. The available segments are now connected together. Creating additional static segments is shown in figure 7.47. Click the origin handle and perform any modifications as required. You need to click on the origin handle of your stick figure and then perform any modifications as per your requirement. Get smarter. To remove transparency in a sprite image, select the bottom left pixel of the sprite. From figure controls, click figure color. You have to first select the bottom left pixel of the sprite. And then from figure controls, you need to click on figure color. From the color dialog box, select the color that does not appear in the rest of the sprite image. With this, we come to the end of today's presentation. Thank you.